Hey everybody, it's me Joe and I want to welcome you back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to tell you some really interesting things about New York City. And you're going to have a really fun listening test. All right? So, isn't that great? You're going to learn stuff about the world and improve your listening at the same time. I'm going to give you eight questions. You can write them down if you want. Lots of people do. Then I'm going to tell you lots of different facts about New York City. All right? Then at the end, I'm going to give you the answers. So you'll know how well you did on this test. And I want you to write down below uh, what, how well you did on the test. How many did you get right out of eight? Also, tell me other cities that you want me to talk about. All right? And then finally, at the very end of the video, I'm going to put something secret there for only the best students. Because we all know only the best students watch the whole thing. And that's why they are so good at English. They don't quit early. Huh? <laughs> all right. And if you really like my video and you want to see more, why don't you subscribe and hit that notification button down below. All right. Let's get to the questions. Here we go. Number one, what three cities have been capitals? Number two, how many different languages are spoken in New York City? Number three, how much money in gold does the Federal Reserve Bank have? All right, number four, when did the New York Times move its offices to Times Square? Number five, what is New York's nickname? Number six, what classes can people take at the Museum of Ice Cream? Number seven, what day was the most peaceful day in New York. And the last question, number eight, how many gangs are in New York? All right, so those are all the questions. Now, let's get ready to really sh listen, concentrate hard, try and focus. I'm going to go through all the information. All right, so New York City is a very old city by North American standards. And uh, you might not know this, but it was the first capital of the United States. It was capital from in 1789. And well, well, it was capital there. They made a decision to build a, a permanent capital city in Washington, D.C., where it is now. Between 1789 and the 10 years that it took to actually build uh, Washington, D.C., there was a temporary capital, and that was in Philadelphia. So it moved around. There was three different cities that were have been capitals of the United States. All right? So we all know that many, many people live in New York, and it depends on how big you, you measure out and where does New York end and where do other cities begin? But it's certainly over 8 million people live there. And there are more than 800 languages spoken. It is the most linguistically diverse city in the world. So linguistically diverse means there's many, many languages. So if you're walking down the street in New York, you could hear almost every language <laughs> around the globe in that one city. All right, another fact. The New York City Federal Reserve Bank, it has a vault that is 80 feet below the city surface. Okay, so you gotta go down 80 feet. That's like eight story building down. And in that vault, they keep gold, bars of gold. And how much? <laughs> Uh, there is $90 billion worth of gold in that bank. That's a lot of money. All right. 
Another thing about New York, the United Nations headquarters is located in New York City. That's where countries all get together and they talk about important issues. And that was established in 1952. All right. Another important area of New York is Times Square. And there's a lot of Broadway theaters in around that area. It is named after the New York Times newspaper. And that newspaper moved its offices there in 1904. Before, before it was called that, it was called Long Acre Square. So Times Square is a little bit more catchy. <laughs> All right. Uh, so I don't know if you know this, but New York has a nickname. A lot of cities do. For example, Chicago is the Windy City. New York is nicknamed the Big Apple. And where does that name come from? Originally, a local newspaper referred to the big prize money in a horse race as the Big Apple. But then the city took over that nickname and the city became the Big Apple. But it first came from horse races as a, as a nickname for the prize money. All right, here's an interesting fact. It is home to the Museum of Ice Cream. <laughs> we know that New York has many, many, many museums, but I didn't, I've never heard of this one before, but it is there. What are things that, are, that happen there? It has a three-story slide. It has many, many rooms that you can go and take pictures in that are displays of different ice creams and ice cream colors. You can even take classes there. For example, you can take a class on Sunday making, making ice cream sundaes, and another one on mixology. So mixology is normally how to make cocktails or drinks, alcohol, because you want to see what, what pairings, what kind of wine goes with what type of meat or fish. But this one is what kind of alcohol goes with what kind of ice cream. So those are two interesting classes. All right. Here is another really interesting thing. I didn't know this. On November 28th, 2012, there was not a single murder, shooting, stabbing, or other violent crime in New York City. Right? We all hear about New York being such a violent city. Lots of crime, lots of guns. Lots of people dying, but on November 28, 2012, nothing. And they believe it was the first time ever. Wow. <laughs> All right. And here's another thing that kind of still on the violence uh, subject. There are approximately 375 gangs in New York City. So gang is they get together, maybe they sell drugs or they sell guns or they, they do something to make money illegally. All right. And those gangs have between 22,000 and 50,000 members. Okay. So the membership is, it's pretty hard to keep track of because sometimes members run away. Sometimes they die. Sometimes are they active members outside of jail or are they still in jail? So it's difficult to get the exact number of gang members. I'm sorry. <laughs> all right. So those are all the interesting facts about New York City. Now let's go over the answers again. Are you ready? Here we go. Number one, what three cities have been, the, have been capitals? New York, Philadelphia, and Washington. Number two, how many different languages are spoken in New York City? Over 800. How much money in gold does the Federal Reserve Bank have? $90 billion worth of gold. Wow. Number four. When did the New York Times move its offices to Times Square? That was in 1904. All right. Number five. What is New York's nickname? The Big Apple. Number six, 
What classes can people take at the Museum of Ice Cream? They can take Sunday making and mixology. All right. Number seven. What day was the most peaceful day in New York City? November 28, 2012. And the last one. How many gangs are in New York City? About 375 gangs. Wow, that's a lot of uh, <laughs> criminals. <laughs> okay, so you've listened to the questions. You listened to it. I hope you got lots of right answers. And if you've come this far, I want to congratulate you. There's very few people that make it this far. Okay, all right. So uh, the secret code that I want to tell you is let's go to Broadway. All right. I want you to send that to me in a message in, uh, on my Instagram page. Don't write it down below because it's a top secret. <laughs> I want people to have to watch the video to see this. All right. And I want to congratulate you on being so fantastic because if you keep watching videos the whole way through like this, you will get so much better, so much faster. All right. And if you want to keep going, let me move to the middle here. I'm going to put links in here to other videos so you can keep watching if you want to. Uh, my best students, they watch at least three videos per day. And believe me, I've seen improvement that you wouldn't believe in a short time. In one month, after watching about a hundred videos, some students are seeing huge improvements. All right, that's it for now. Bye-bye.